three. All right, we're going to answer some questions. What's this thing all about? Immediately. Again? Well, the mass is immediately. Well, we were uh, on vacation last week. We all went our separate ways and did our separate things and had a lot of fun. And uh, things happen when our, you're on vacation. So we, we all wrote down like one little highlight and uh, pulled them out of the proverbial hat uh-huh. and then tried to guess whose little secret was written on the paper. And uh, one of the highlights, I think, was Danny's. Punching a light post? Yeah, Danny ended up in Texas on his vacation. Austin. In Austin, Texas. And uh, he, he struck out trying to pick up chicks. Struck uh, out trying to pick up every chick in the bar. Every chick in the bar That's until gay. closing time. Went out <laughs> and punched the light pole, and his hand is still all swollen it's, from it. <laughs> it looks like a big blueberry muffin. <laughs> <laughs> it's all puffy. You got big puffy hand because you're silly. I think I ordered your hand at Starbucks today. <laughs> that thing is huge. I wish I could have taken a picture of it when it actually happened because it was so so much worse. Oh, I it. bet. I think you broke a knuckle or something. Yeah, that, probably. I mean, it really. The does. middle one is still yeah, dude, pretty really, swollen. It really, really hurts. We're so stupid as human beings to hit things that we know don't give. Light poles, brick walls. I used but to, you hit them. In college, I used to punch brick walls all the time. You get mad all go, the time. Ah, bam! You hit a brick and wall. Then you wake like, up why? one day and realize, you know, that really hurts. I'm not what doing that doing? anymore. It doesn't move. Also, uh, uh, Travis, of course, Travis and his lovely new bride uh, went to Disney and uh, got to a bunch of pictures taken with a bunch of the characters. <laughs> and we've seen them all, and they're hilarious. Yeah. My favorite is the one with them, the, Travis and Lisa have their hands together. Yes. And Tinkerbell. Yeah, you take the picture, and then uh, they tell you to come to a certain area and, and uh, pick up the picture. So when they took the picture, they must have told them to put their hands out, but put them together, and look down into your hands. And uh, they did that. When they picked the picture up, what is in there but a cartoon Tinkerbell? They had Tinkerbell in their Tink. Hand. That's <laughs> that's adorable. That's adorable. Yeah. I love. And they wore the little uh, veil, the Mickey, the Minnie Mouse veil ears, and the uh, top hat Mickey ears as bride and groom. Somebody should have instead of Tinkerbell put an IED in their hands, <laughs> blown both of their arms off. Oh, now God. that would have been a Disney photo. That's not romantic or fun. It's the happiest place on earth. Yeah, Jimmy. don't mess with the happiest place on earth, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's uh, get some more answers. So the next one is um, someone on vacation. Yeah, called their mother a, so- a sociopath, mm-hmm. and she walked out of the restaurant. Now a lot of people been speculating on this one. A lot of people been speculating. What are, what are they saying? What are people saying? Saying it's a, uh, it was me. Mm-hmm. But everyone knows I, I didn't do that. I, I would never say anything bad about my mommy. It's creepy that you call your mother mommy. I love my mommy. Do you realize how old you are? Yes. You're, you're supposed to start calling your your mom mommy at, I don't know. I'll give it to like 13. <laughs> 13? Yeah, I'll give it 13. That's the cutoff. You're well into your whatever you are. We don't even know anymore. You're like a vampire. I, I guess you shouldn't her, be calling your mother mommy anymore. It's creepy. When I get her cards for her birthday, I get her cards that are meant for a mother uh, from her five-year-old son, and I write mommy backwards, <laughs> and I give it to my mommy, and she laughs. The assignment with a crayon. You want to make your mommy laugh? No, I don't. And my brother and sister, I go to the ebony <laughs> section. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> I go to the ebony section. I got my mother one time accidentally a stepmother card. I didn't, oh, I didn't, Jesus. I didn't see it. <laughs> and she was going through menopause at the time. She was just an enchantress. <laughs> enchantress. <laughs> and I, I gave it to her, and she's oh, you're crying. Done. And I'm, I'm like, what? Wow, this is a is complete great. accident. I was a teenage idiot. I just didn't see it. Stepmother. Stepmother. All right, I know. I Funny the, gag, though. I got the mother part. The foreign, <laughs> yeah, here, here you go, step. The foreign language cards are the best. Yeah, those are good too. I call my mom birth giver. That's what I call. Her. <laughs> All right, so uh, who called their mom a sociopath? Step up to we the. We don't mic. have the rest of the crew in here. Do we need anybody else? Who is we? it? Ah, because it's radio. They don't know. Uh, out there in Radio Land, yeah, just everyone's, everyone's in, in the here. studio, and everyone's someone's gonna walk up to the around. mic. And then we act surprised when uh, we see that it's Than. He's, oh. the, he's the only one in the room, so of course it has to be Than. Than? What happened, Than? Um, well, 
me and my uh, lovely girlfriend were visiting my mom in Nantucket, which is a beautiful locale. Ooh, I heard a rhyme about that place once. Forgot how it went. I know. Is it and can you? <laughs> <laughs> and if it were, would you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Um, and uh, we went out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's important to note that I was ordering like I wasn't going to have to pay. <laughs> Oh, um, because mother usually picks up the bill. Mother, <laughs> mother is he sicker calls, than mommy. It is, by the way, and he and he does call his mom mother because mommy. You call funny. your mom mommy. Mommy's funny. It makes her laugh when I call her mommy. Mother is Norman Bates yep. all over. Mother, blood. Yeah, mother is Norman. Creepier. She's a whore, Norman. <laughs> 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 oh, mother, what have you done? Oh, what am I doing? Hola, <laughs> uh, That old Tony Perkins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, corporate. There's a virus sitting up at the window looking down at him. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, corporate, very happy today because we're using a lot of sounds. Wow, look at us go. They want sounds right. on this show. There's your effing sounds. <laughs> So, Fan, you were in Nantucket, which is a very, that's a wealthy, is, are you, is, you, do, yeah. is, uh, is your mom, uh, is mother a bit well-to-do, say, not necessarily, uh, but if she's comfortable? Yes, divorcing oh. my dad is a lucrative business. Oh! <laughs> wow. Wow. So I what like did you this. order at d- dinner knowing that mother was going to pay? Mothers you, should you be creep. paying. <laughs> uh, well, surf and turf is very good up there. Yes, and. Well, and also mother enjoys her wine, so <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, a couple bottles of that being purchased. And then um, also before dinner, for some reason, my girlfriend dared me to do a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Just because she was feeling silly. So you do a shot, maybe you loosen up a little bit. Yeah, and then a uh, couple, you know, I guess a, a half a bottle of wine later for me. Is it, my, is, it, is it normally a tense situation with mother? Yes, it's very tense. Okay. Why? What's the problem with mother? <laughs> well, <laughs> and how long has it been tense? Uh, 15 years, maybe. Oh, wow. Because wow. you like daddy better? Um, well. Or should I say father? To father. Put to put, not to find a point on it. Um, I hold her chiefly responsible for the separation of my parents. Nice. So, okay. You're one of those kids. Right. I love it. It explains wow. so much. She, all right, so Dan mm, okay. thinks that... Are you, is your dad still alive? Yes. Okay, so you guys are you probably a little closer to your dad than your mom. Yes, much. Okay. Is and, dad happy now? Yes. Okay. And why, uh, this might be a silly question, why is there still any relationship with mother? Just, she's got the Nantucket house. <laughs> okay. And that, I thought it was just to be like one of those guys. You don't want to be that family that just has somebody that doesn't talk to somebody. I don't know. That seems like an odd little thing. That's a goal I'm working towards. Uh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Why do you blame her more than your father? Um, Because there was a lot of uh, verbal attacks Okay. against father. Oh, oh okay. Was she trying to maybe... Tr- how, how old? Well, I could do this some math, but uh, was she like saying things to you to try to turn you around because i know yeah. parents getting getting divorced to separate or whatever try to do that they say things like ah your father's a deadbeat or blah, 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 that son of a bitch yeah i mean there's whenever his name comes up there's always a, a some yeah. disparaging comment did he ever throw a plate of spaghetti against the uh, wall no oh, damn that's a good one does he have a new wife uh a no new girl he's uh he's had some new girls and he's just picked up a new one those are always uh Oh, I miss that. Miss it was such a treat. <laughs> what do you when miss? my dad would just bring new his new whores, his new whores after uh, he finally got uh, the boot out of the house. Mm-hmm. They got some small little apartment somewhere, and uh, he'd pick me up for the weekend. But the weekends were his time to get laid. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he'd have me, my brother, and my sister shoved in his small apartment, laying all over the living room floor, while he's like making noises from his bedroom. Oh, it was awful. Some some hose bag would leave in the morning. Goodbye, Andy and Jonathan and Donna. It's Anthony Joseph and Dawn Whore. Get out. <laughs> I never got the uh, the vocal parent thing. Uh, no? I, no, I never got that. The, 
I would go over ball, my ball gags. <laughs> no, I would go over my. I'd go over my friend's house and like a sleepover, or whatever. And we're watching a movie or whatever, doing something, right? Yeah. And you would hear his parents just going at it upstairs. I'm like, wow. don't they know? First of all, their their kid's still up, and and that the kid has a friend over. That's pretty. It was cool. so creepy to me. Yeah. Well, what, what do your dad runs out and yells, "Hey, smell my fingers." <laughs> <laughs> And why wouldn't your dad kind of like keep that like uh, I don't know quiet? I think he was trying, but you know you hear you hear a couple of these, <laughs> you know, oh <laughs> he can't help it. You walk in and she's behind him. He's got his face in the pillow. <laughs> no. Oh no, oh, dad! Boy. Oh, oh, daddy! Well, now we know why. He's <laughs> you better move to California. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> So mother. Oh, so, mother, so yes. So back to mother. Now yeah, you're with mother, mother, your girl, ordering you're in a restaurant, you had a shot, a half a bottle of wine, your mom likes the wine, you haven't gotten really along for 15 years because of the uh, divorce thing. Uh, we're, we're now up to what happened. Yeah, I'm not sure how it came, these things, uh, you know, start. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it Usually then, with the shots and wine. Yeah. <laughs> But some, uh, I think, comment about my dad came up, and then I oh boy. made it might have defended him, and then that launched into the, I blame you for everything. <laughs> oh Jesus! It all came out. Had you yeah. ever told her that or no? I don't think I'd ever articulated it like that. So <laughs> like, this could be a breakthrough. That blunt. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like a breakthrough. And, um, and how is your chick? Was she just like mortified? Oh, she hates it. <laughs> oh, how, oh. What an embarrassing kind of a tense situation to be in. Yeah, I mean, we've been on and off for, for five years, so she's well-versed in oh, okay. these sort of things. And mother, and the yeah. whole mother thing, yeah. And mother's like, I don't want to get into this in front of, you know, it's your girl. girl. And I was like, well, you know, she's seen it all, so don't worry about it. And then it came into, like, the whole accountability for the divorce thing. Oof. And, she didn't take any, or she didn't take as much responsibility. She said 50 50. And I said, I don't agree with that ratio. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> wow. Just drinking and yelling at each other. That's great. Do you blame your dad for any of it? Are you, um, let me ask you, are you, you unreasonable? And I, my parents aren't divorced, so I don't, I'm, I'm not saying I get it. Are you unreasonably siding with your dad because you love your dad more? Because you relate to him more? No, I mean, I was a mama's boy till like. 14 or 15. Well, can you tell us why you blame mother or is that too personal? Um, she would just put him down all the time. Mm. Okay. That's a big thing, you know. You can't just sit there and take that crap You don't know why your life. father emasculated. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, who the hell wants to see that? For what? Put him down for what? Mm. Like, just for, for being, not making enough money or? No. Um, being with other women. And, <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> beating me. <laughs> Black eyes. <laughs> the makeup that she had to wear. <laughs> she would always yell at father. He, she, he promised an uppercut. Gave a left hook. <laughs> uh, his, his weight was a big one. Oh, oh really? He was yeah. a heavy guy. Yeah. Really? You're so slender. I would yeah. explain the, so- the sociopath that we are talking about. <laughs> yeah, no yes, kidding. who's True. a fitness guru. No kidding. <laughs> so what happens? You call him fat and stuff and really humiliate him. Yeah, and like give him crap for never uh, being around. Did he? Uh, did he was, was kind of, it was one of those self, uh, this, is one, this is peak listenership too. I'm looking at the clock. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> um, the, uh, like it was sort of a, a self fulfilling thing. He she gave him crap for not being around, and since he hated being around, he just worked more. Yeah, yeah. Then you don't uh, come home. Did mother ever make fun of his manhood? Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. Oh, oh my mother. God, mother. <laughs> well, like, let me. Did but she? It wasn't. It wouldn't be like a whole diatribe, but there'd be a, you know a little snipings. Quip. Yeah, <laughs> a, snipings. About let's say this. Uh, oh, geez, a, 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 would, would it be about what he was born with, or would it be about uh, how he used it, or how often he used it? Um, all of those things. Okay. So wow, that's emasculating. Yeah. She, she wasn't just yeah. being wow. aggressive. She was really hitting below the belt. She was yeah. angry about something. Yeah, do, was, do, do you, you don't think he was out with other women? I really don't think so. You think she resented just the life she would kind of ended up in? Yeah. Maybe that was it. Yeah, yeah. He, he had all the the power because he made the money. Yeah. And she ended up kind of having to be the mom. And did she have dreams and aspirations as a as a kid or I'm as a sure, yeah. younger person? I mean, she also she like she got an MBA. Oh um, yeah, she basketball. <laughs> the business one. <laughs> oh okay, was sorry. Career oriented woman when they met? No, I mean they it was it was like the '60s. So I mean oh. like it was the status quo would to, 
her to be the child bearer and raise her. Yeah. Okay, so what's... Because I'd, I'd put... I'd put... If I had a... Because the percentage thing is interesting. If I had to put percentage on my parents, the reason they got divorced, I would probably put 75 on my father, 25 on my mother. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, my father, not a good husband or, or you know, father... What was wrong with your dad? Respect. Your mom is hot. But mom... Sorry. I think mom was married too young with the kids and saddled with three kids when she wanted to be, you know, in her 20s having a good time. Three kids by the age of what? Uh, I don't know, probably 23, 24, something like that. Already three kids. Yeah, already three kids. Just she And one of them down. was already, what, five or six? Didn't uh, she had Joe early, right? Yeah, yeah. So she's, you know... Kind of pissed off that she's can't have fun. She's a kid herself, and yeah, you know, she gets knocked up and put in this situation. And then dad is out doing whatever the hell he wants to do, so she gets pissed at him. And then, and then of course, you know, they have to take it out on each other in front of the kids, which is just a lovely thing. It just made me a well-adjusted person. Yeah, and that's <laughs> that's another thing. That yeah, came up at dinner was that I was mad at her for uh, exposing me to that. Yeah. Because in my uh, stupid parents, she's just they I got, really are just uh, stupid. I also got a little annoyed when she's like, "Well, your brother and sister got over it. What's your problem?" <laughs> <laughs> so being called a whiny bitch by your mom is always nice. Wow, she's got game, man. Well, she's got game. <laughs> she really wow, does. He's giving her props. She does have game. She you like mother. Well, do you, do you think mother? I did respect any... the mother with game. Trust me. Do you think mother did any philandering? I don't think so. Okay. All right. So why the sociopath comment? Are we yeah. up to that point? Yeah. Because like we got to take a break here. Yeah, and that, that actually wasn't the the proverbial straw. Um, mm. The uh, I because she wasn't taking responsibility for her actions. I was calling her a sociopath. Uh -huh. She was not like she was disconnected from herself right. in terms of what she did in the marriage. Is why yeah. I went for the old sociopath route. And what happened? Um, she, that wasn't actually it. And then we, we argued a little more and she said, well, why are you up here? And I said something along the lines of, because, you know, you have the house. <laughs> oh my God, you're <laughs> nuts. Oh, this is great. Look, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're oh, going to go back yeah. to the fan when we have a little more time. Oh yeah. Oh, you're nuts. <laughs> well, why would you mother say says. that? <laughs> his, his, his siblings got over it. <laughs> yeah. I love that one. <laughs> Hey, cause oh, what a nasty thing to throw out at you. And But he has Get game, over too, man. Yeah. So. yeah. No, definitely. I'm here for the house. And then she, the, she said something, I, and, you know, who knows exactly what, but my uppercut uh, verbally was, look, I don't like you. <laughs> Oh, no. Where were you staying? Because oh, Nantucket's not an easy place to get to. Oh. Her, her house, like in the... <laughs> okay, so it got really nasty. And when I said, I don't like you, she said, she stood up, she said, I hope you have some way of paying for dinner. And, uh, which is, you know, the last straw trying to have some sort of influence on it. And, uh, left. How much okay. was dinner? <clears throat> Four hundred dollars. Oh, four hundred dollars. Let yeah. it be known to the radio audience: Stan doesn't make the kind of money that he should be that he could easily pay for a four hundred dollars. No, dinner, I'll be man. floating that one uh, on Visa for a while. Oh. He had a credit card, right? Yeah. Oh, it oh. beats it. How much? I didn't therapy? have to wash dishes for dinner, at least, yeah. but like it's it's going to be there for a while. How much therapy would it have taken to get to that point where you could say that you, you got it out? You kind of had to get it out. Oh, I'm throwing money at that cause, too, so. <laughs> oh, Than is nuts, by the way. Like, people don't know Than is a kook. That's oh, yeah. why I, I, Than is a very interesting guy. Because yeah. He's very I think a lot quiet. of people around here are scared of Than. Well, he's not. He's because not, we know what he could uh, do. There is he's not nuts. one person that works around us or anything that isn't crazy. I, has something going on. That isn't a kook. Yeah, I used to be worried I was going to be too square for the show, and then I realized. Oh, oh please! Yeah, right. I'm... I've seen little bits come out after a couple. We sit there, <laughs> loosen up after a couple of drinks, and you you hear Dan say something. You're like, "Oh Jesus, okay, <laughs> he's got some potential." <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, where did uh, you sleep? Um, well, me and my girlfriend <laughs> thought the best plan of action because we were also without a ride at that point. Oh no! Was to just throw a whole bunch back. Uh, take a cab back uh, late night when she probably was uh, passed asleep. out, maybe yeah. asleep. Or... 
Yeah, there was less wine in the bottle that we started <laughs> before dinner. Did I'm you see your mom home. the next day then? No, she left, and we uh, she like went to go do an errand. I was like, well, let's get while the getting's good. And we, we weren't supposed to leave till, for another day or two, so we just left. split early. Uh, I tailed it out. Oh, no. So that's it for that's a while. That's it. Oh, yeah. Hopefully Thanksgiving. Wow. You think, wait, wait, you think, but you you will see her again. Yeah, I'm going to treat uh, her like a parolee now. Only uh, supervised visits. So I need, <laughs> need I need like my sister or my brother you know, yeah, yeah. there with The, the ones that have gotten over it. Yes. And, they're, <laughs> and their kids, yeah. That's great. What do you want? Can I want one more question? Before yeah. What do you want from her? Like, what could she do that would <clears throat> make you go, all right, things are kind of... Uh, to take a large chunk of responsibility for... Uh, yeah, for the divorce. And really mean it, not just say it. Yeah. You know, that is. That's yeah. never happening. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's no. a rough one. Yeah. All right. We got to take a break. Nathaniel um, <sighs> was at dinner with his mother and his girlfriend, and uh, they have a very uh, a strained relationship. Uh, and uh, he um, called his mother a uh, sociopath. Yeah. Really? You made it sound like his mother and girlfriend, like one person, dude. <laughs> so really I, I would have said Slash. Oh, okay. Mother slash girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got into a very uncomfortable situation. Well, there's more to it. Uh, Than comes from divorced parents, mm -hmm. and uh, he blames his mom on the divorce. He likes daddy much, much more than mommy. Mm -hmm. Mother, yeah, <laughs> mother. Yeah, it's creepy because he calls her mother. If mother, you're yeah. calling your mom mother, mother yeah. there's a problem. There's there's, uh, there's, there's issues. some sort of killing in your face. That's yeah, yeah, you're definitely going to have the knife and the wig and so <laughs> have a girl in Last shower. we left you, Than went to dinner, yes, with his mother and his girlfriend and they got into it a little bit and they were talking about the divorce and you were blaming mother on the divorce. Yes. And your mother walked out because you called her a sociopath? I called her a sociopath and then I said I didn't like her. Yeah. So she yeah. walked out and said, I hope you have money to pay for this dinner. And he was in Nantucket and they were at a nice restaurant. And, you know, Than doesn't do that well with the show. So he was left with a pretty good bill. <laughs> it was. It just showed up. It's uh, 440 <laughs> Oh. $40. Wow. Damn. Wouldn't have signed on for that second bottle of wine. <laughs> was that three people? Yeah. What drunks? Yup. Really, that's what I'm thinking. And booze. It, these are pretty upscale problems, huh? I was I was dining with mother in Nantucket. <laughs> <laughs> when dining with mother in Nantucket, one ought to keep one's card handy. He is using the proper name for for mommy, because it is Nantucket. Yup. I'm sure they all call their mothers mother. Mother. And you hadn't talked to her since. No. And you got an update on this? Yes, I still haven't. This is all. Uh, via my sister, as mm -hmm. all healthy discussions should happen between a third party. <laughs> uh, she says, uh, oh, she reminded me of the most hurtful thing. The, the thing I hurt her with most was at this dinner, I said, um, with a smile, apparently, I didn't realize I was smiling through this whole discussion, was, I only pretend to like you so I could stay up here. Oh. You said that to her? Yeah. Because Nantucket yeah. is a nice place to visit. Yeah. I only pretend to like you. Because I, I knew the break was coming up. You know, we had the vacation. I was like, I could spend X amount of dollars to go to another place. Or just there's a, the psychological cost, the non-monetary cost of having to hang out with mother. And it probably would have been better in hindsight just so, spending some cash, yeah, I should have which you did Europe. anyway. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, wow, 440 bucks now. Yeah. And uh, w where does it stand now with, with you and mother? <laughs> well, she says that she will never speak to me again until I apologize. And you probably won't be so, apologizing. Yeah, that sounds like a, a freebie for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. We call a stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a pretty pretty uh, stable relationship that comes down to that. <laughs> yeah. A lifetime of memories. <laughs> yeah. Unless that's... you apologize over the check, it's all over. Do you have any desire to have a relationship with her? No. So you could care less that she said that? Well, I, I have to, I think, like, family functions, we're going to have to figure something out. 
<laughs> It'll just be weird. If- It'll ruin it for everyone in the family because the, all they'll be thinking of is like, how uncomfortable is this that the mother and son there aren't talking, yeah. looking at each other. I have to talk to the mother, and then I got to talk to the son, and I can't like cross over conversations. It's like Connie in Godfather Two. Like yeah. Fredo wanted yeah. to talk to Michael, but he couldn't, so he had to couldn't. talk to, to Connie. <laughs> so let me ask, isn't it weird? Like your mother, she like let you stay in her place here, right? Like you, you were living with her in New York recently. Uh, yeah, yeah. And she would let you stay at her place, and then so she was okay to you. You just hate her because of the well, way she reacted to you. I, I have a feeling uh, he was okay with her because she has a lot of money and, but I mean, uh, and like a her. really nice okay. apartment in New York and a nice place in Nantucket. So he tolerates her. But how about her with you? I'm saying like because her obligation to you, as far as being a young man, is over. Yes. So she allowed you to stay at her place, mm-hmm. and then she allows you to come up and stay there with her, and she takes you out to dinner. It's always like a barter, though. It's well, like. It's a trans. Everything's a transaction. So, mm. like the second I moved in there, the clock was ticking, and you know, the favors I would have to repay her with started to like what? Just any. It just she hasn't collected yet because I've been kind of a jerk. Because, like, <laughs> but it just it's it wasn't like oh yeah you could stay and there's no problem. It was just the she couldn't stop reminding me that I was staying in her place. I mean, it's still cool that she let me stay there without you know having to pay rent. But how she, long? Um, four or five months. But mm. you know, it wasn't. But it's not like this motherly gesture of goodwill. <laughs> oh, it's like amazing. saving up some points so she could hit him with, hit you with him later. So then I will have to do something for her later. Yeah. And this apartment, she doesn't even stay there. She and just that come, time when she they never it, come. She uses yeah. it when she comes to New York every once in a while. So any other normal relationship, your mother would just go, ah, I got an apartment in New York. You save some money. I'll stay there. Yeah, she wasn't you know, being put out at all. Mm-hmm. At all. That's like, right. what, she comes down a couple times a year? If that. It used to if be- that. So this apartment is just sitting there. Than is struggling in New York. You know, he's, he's, he's making ends meet, but it would be nice if he could live for free and bank that money he would use on rent. Yeah. But with his own mother, it has to be, I'll do this for you, but you, uh, what, what do you have to do for her like, in, in I'll, return? I'll destroy you at dinner, and you have to walk out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like Robin Leach should be hosting this show. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Big different tone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lifestyles are the liquored up and dysfunctional. <laughs> yeah. Dave in Massachusetts, the most hurtful thing that Than said is that mother took them to a place where the seared tuna was slightly overcooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. I'm not earning a lot of relatability points with this. No, no, this isn't. Uh... So what would you have to do for her just because she allowed you to stay in her place for free for four or five months? Uh, I just sump. <laughs> well. Eat her box? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now it turns. I not forgot even, to hear that. It's not even <laughs> funny. Um, well, it's going to sound very selfish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But just stuff that I guess people would normally want to do. <laughs> For their parents, like what? Yeah. Like, would she uh, require a hug, fan? <laughs> yes, <laughs> she demanded. Um, I'm drawing a blank. Just like, just inconveniencing me. Like what? The only example I can come up with is very selfish sounding. Like she wanted to be driven to, to and from her knee surgery. <laughs> 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 Holy Jesus. She puts you up for three months and wants a ride to her knee surgery. What a demanding. Dude, bitch. wow. You need a therapist. Jimmy called it a while Wait ago a with you. So you, you <laughs> Why is that a problem? I can't get over how the mother could ask for so much. <laughs> right. Did she yeah. expect you to help her up the steps with bandages on her knee? What a pig. <laughs> Why is that a problem? Let's get into this. Because he broke her knee in the first place. <laughs> so... She slipped going to fetch him something. <laughs> uh, yeah. So wait. I knew that. I mean, I knew this example wasn't going to be Are you perfect. an only child? No, you're not an only child. You have younger sisters. You're the youngest, youngest of three. Wait, you didn't answer the question, though. Why That's... is that a problem? I don't know. Like, that was, that, that was I felt normal. It just, it's just the. It was it, the way the she told you, or. Were you coddled it, growing up? Um, more or less, yeah. So you're kind of spoiled a little growing up? A little bit. Private schools? Okay. Yes. Oy. So you kind of, uh... <laughs> wow. I'm are, wondering if there's any entitlement here on Than's part. I'm we've, not saying that your mother's not... We've lost every black listener we've had <laughs> of, that, w- that we've gained over the past few uh, months. Why? They don't get this. Well, the parents are divorced. That'll kind of bring them... <laughs> <laughs> you, so you... Wait a minute. So you kind of coddled and a little spoiled growing up. So part of it might be your mom, and part of it might be like you're a little, yeah, a little bit of an entitlement. 
Mm, you're bothered because you... Dan's not going to blame himself. No, I'm not, I'm not saying it's totally his fault. I'm not saying he's wrong by his mom either. I'm saying it is, but he won't ever blame himself. <laughs> well, especially as your mom's getting older, this is the time to start driving her to doctors and things. You want to keep yourself locked in that will. Yeah. You're really playing this game. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. She's on. somebody you really want to lock in. Yeah. Well... She well, I'm, <laughs> she's not the real cash cow in the family. Oh, father uh, is. Oh, yeah. father is. She's oh, okay. a, a yeah. beneficiary of. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. So Than kind of sided on uh, the right uh, side. All right. Well, well, what kind of money? What kind of money has he got? What not specific numbers? <laughs> 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 the look on the face. Yeah, I'm starting to think. That's the kind of thing nobody. I'm nobody starting to think. The only, re- how much? Think how much? the only reason he likes father is because father has the cash. No, father. see, that's that's not it. Um, he's nicer. Yeah. I just I don't I'm I'm trying to divorce myself from the the concept that she that I need to be nicer just because she's my mom, like ah. Uh. I'm not she's, a big fan of her. Like, you don't think she's a good person. Yeah, I don't want to so hang out with her. So just because she uh, carried you in her womb, uh, that she's entitled to your love for the rest of uh, her life. Yeah. Yeah. Where does your father live? Um, Connecticut. Of course. Mm. So we couldn't he help you out with the rent? Yeah. Okay, well, you can just ignore her. <laughs> ignore her. Right therapy. I mean, you know. Yeah. Oh, you do good. I'm doing that, oh, too. Oh, good. It helps. Oh, you're right. That's what this is right here. Yeah, it was. It was like, <laughs> I consider this. Gordon, I never heard this sound so sweet before. Yeah, uh, that's good. That really helps. Well, it's kind sure. of. Uh, it's, just... it's the new gym. Yes. <laughs> it's the gym that goes to therapy gym and then tries to let let this little knowledge trickle down to all of uh, us. Yeah. Because I started bringing up some stuff from my childhood, and Jimmy had it all figured out. Right. Just from a couple of therapy <laughs> sessions, he figured out oh. that I was the child of an alcoholic father, so uh-huh. that uh, gives me these uh, these. Uh, that's why I'm paranoid, right. and I have guns, and, and I always think people are going to uh, invade my home, and that's and, why I have I need a weapon. Need to fix everything. You need to be yeah. in control of your whole situation. Right, right. You never know when daddy and might get drunk and give you a good smack. That's That That was it, anyway. pretty much. It has nothing to do with watching the news and seeing home invasions no. in my town <laughs> shoot up 10,000% that I wanted to buy a shotgun. Well, that's part. Of course it is. But I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the obvious. It's like, we, we, you know, hey, look, we all are products. I don't know why I do it. Why, you know, why have I ever laid on the floor with bags under me? I don't know. <laughs> There's like little psychological reasons. You saw your father behave violently, so you're afraid of violence. Mm-hmm. Not, you don't have to be a psychologist to see that. But he's, he's bringing it to the show. He says, I have an anger issue. It's like, come on. Yeah. He's now our therapist. <laughs> right. He's, Jimmy big, will I'm sit his each mess. down, and Than is now sitting on the couch, <laughs> yes, lit- quite literally. Yeah. Just lay back there, and uh, Dr. Jimmy is in. Look, I don't, I don't want you to go to therapy, because I think you could give us some really good radio, man. I don't want you fixed. Uh, don't worry. That won't help. <laughs> no? No. because well, she's, yeah, she's not going, so yeah. I still have to absorb all that. Do you think... That's kind of a morbid question, but it does happen. Do you think if she uh, passes on that you will have any feelings of guilt and, and feelings that you didn't resolve things? Because that always happens with people. No matter how angry they are at a family member and they don't talk to them and stuff, the second they drop dead, it's all this regret and I should have done this and blah, blah, blah. Zero. Zero. Wow. So when did you start? Zero. 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 When, when did you start hating uh, mother? That's a good question. Um, when did you lose the love for mother? You say because of the, you blame her on the divorce, but it sounds like maybe before that. No, it's like it just I needed perspective on the situation and realized that it's not normal to like have every dinner end in screaming and, you know. Mm. Yeah, well. I kind of remember that. Well, yeah. the, not I mean if you're Italian it is. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh God! I've I've told that one before. I, I I vividly remember a plate of spaghetti hitting the wall and just running down the wall, and that is a memory I have as a child. And you think if you save poor Catherine, there no more spaghetti hitting the wall. <laughs> is that spaghetti still hitting the wall, Anthony? Uh, we got Jim in Boston. He can relate to Than. What's up, Jim? What's up, guys? Hey. Listen, my mother, same way. Call me up and just bother me. And call me all hours of the day. I'm an only child. She would just ask me to do ridiculous things for her. Like what? Uh, she asked me to take her for surgery one day. <laughs> <laughs> what is the problem with that? If mother needs surgery, I think yeah. you should give her a lift. Yeah. Call an ambulance, bitch. Her... Huh? You there? Yeah, we're listening. Go ahead. So she asked me to take her for surgery one day. 
and you know it was it was like eleven o'clock in the morning, and then I had to wait, and then I had to go back and pick her up. I mean, it was just you know, and then she wanted me to stay with her and take what? her to the pharmacy and everything. It was just a pain, and you know I couldn't do it. Well, this cancer, you know, getting cancer, getting tumors removed doesn't always happen that easily. Yeah. You know, sometimes it, <laughs> it takes, takes time. time. I, I sense some uh, sarcasm here. They're making fun of you. Oh, Jim, yeah. you're making fun of Than? No, not at all. You really believe this? Not at all. I'm, I'm telling you. My mother called me up the other night and started a fight with, with, uh, with me over my son's birthday party. What, what was the fight about? Well, it wasn't even a birthday party. We're having a birthday party for him on Sunday. And his birthday was on last Wednesday, and we had like a little cake because he's five years old. And then he told her we're having cake, and then she hung up on him. And then she called me back on my cell phone and started screaming at me, <laughs> saying that I should have, uh, you know, I should have told her that it, she was coming. She lives thirty miles away. Oh, okay. Come. Didn't and invite I, her. She, just, she won't do that. We didn't. Oh, didn't no. invite her for the cake. If, if we would have, if we would have invited her, she wouldn't have come. It doesn't matter. Then you should have gotten out of the way and, and invited her and just saved yourself the aggravation, you dope. What's the matter with I you? I already did. I, you know what? I've done it in the past, and uh, it doesn't help. All right, so there's no nothing, solution. Nothing you just you whatever. for a woman like this. All right. All right. Thank you, Jim. Oh, so my, my, uh, my father lived. Uh, my father was living way up in the country in Connecticut, and he was die he, he, had, he had cancer and had to go in for chemo. But they they didn't know how many treatments it would take, and I had to drive to take him into chemo, which was like a two and a half hour drive. So on the fight, you know, on the of course it's kind of sad. He's on the, he's died. on the last one. We're taking him, and they're like, yeah, I don't know. If you really probably shouldn't come in for any more treatment. And like a tiny part of me had this enormous relief. Like, oh, <laughs> oh God. God! So that'll be it then. They no pretty more. much said, yeah, this ain't working, and. <laughs> And you were relieved because uh, oh, yeah. no more driving. Yeah, no more driving, yeah, no more driving to hour. try to keep my dying dad alive. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Greg Giraldo, everyone. Hey, we uh, got to take a break. So Greg Giraldo is... Comedy <laughs> Club, uh, what, tonight through Sunday? Yeah, yeah tonight through him. Sunday. And uh, just a little taste. He killed on the Flavor Flav Roast. Here's Greg Giraldo as we go to break. It's Opie and Anthony. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.